you're watching breakfast television. Well, if you have small children at home and you ever try to get anything done on the computer, you're going to understand why Ken Cavanaugh came up with what he did. Welcome to the show. This morning there's a frog in your computer there. There is. There's Ken. a frog and ducks and fish, a whole bunch of animals. Okay, first of all, how many children do you have? Three. And the youngest is? Eight months. And the oldest is? Four, four years. Oh, okay. So what happens when you try to get some work done on the computer? Um, invariably, my wife is busy with the youngest, Elias, and then my son, Aiden, and Olive will come running downstairs when they're left unattended for but a minute, and they'll come, Daddy, 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 and they want to play the game that I, I have made for them. Right. And uh, invariably, that stops me from doing any work, and I'm promptly playing with my children. <laughs> I think what most toddlers like to do is just hit the keyboard, right? Just just the noise and the fun of it and feeling yep. like they're going to do something. Yes, that's And when exactly you notice right. that, what did you come up with? I came up with a game that lets them hit the keyboard with impunity. They can bash away, well ultimately the game doesn't let them bash away. Something happens with every keystroke right. and they watch it happen. They, they get involved and engaged with an environment that slows them down a little bit. Right, so what was the idea behind coming up with this then? So did you just want to keep them engaged? Did you want them to learn computer skills? Why do this? I wanted to turn a computer into a toy. I wanted something right. that, I wanted to enable them to play with the, with what they watched right. Daddy playing with all the time. So this is the actual what it looks like. So every time there's one of these actions during the game, it's because they've hit a key and any key can do anything. That's correct, every okay. key has a, has a function. And you programmed all this. Yep. And there's Olive, because she's looking for Daddy. Is Olive going to come out here and play the game for yeah, us? Sure. Yeah, sure. Come on out here, Olive. <laughs> I can see why you don't get anything done at home. Yeah. Do, you wanna, do you want to play? I want to play Bunny Hop. Yeah, so this is how it works at home, right? And how difficult is it to install? Oh, it just installs clean. Yeah? <laughs> look at that. Were you so pleased by your results when you could see the look on the kids' faces? Yes. Yeah. This, this, she has justified every decision we've made. Uh, she's proofed out whether something is fun or funny. Yeah. Um, and she's helped determine how replayable the game is for a little child. And how replayable is it for a small child? Very. It's, she's been playing, it's been in a done state for several months and she demands to play it every other day. She wants to come down and... But, Make oh, it do things. She's very happy there when she yeah. just did that. Now, but Ken, what about the idea that, that people are going to say, you know what, this is just too young to get them enthralled with the computer and video games and all that kind of stuff? So this is this is a beautiful, innocent, wholesome experience. It's like a story time. Um, as as we play it, I say, "There's a little bunny." Oh, you made the gong ba gong. <laughs> I'm. I'm narrating a world to the right. to Olive, and that's what I think is more important. Um, you could go buy uh, any toy or sit a child in a sandbox yeah. and have essentially the same experience. This is like a playpen sandbox experience. Right. It isn't a game that you would have babysit your child. <laughs> There's Daddy on TV. That's right, Olive. Uh, but you must also be aware though that people are going to criticize it for that, right? Two daddies. I know, because she's looking at the you. monitors. <laughs> Just hear a word you said. I said, you must also be aware, though, that people were going to criticize it for that reason, right? Yeah, I think the child is going to... Olive sees me playing on a computer, yeah. and she wants to do what daddy's do doing. So it would be quite hypocritical for me to say no. Right. Right? It'd be like saying, oh, I have a TV, and daddy can watch TV, but you can't. Yeah. You're going to turn on Treehouse sometime. You know. So That's you true. You are going to put your kid in front of the TV at some point, at least this way they're getting interactive. Where would this be available then if people wanted to uh, uh, parents can buy click toy online yeah. so we're selling it because we're an independent small studio we're selling it online through our website at clicktoy.com okay I um, have any idea to move it past this or do other versions of this yep this is actually the first of a larger environment it's the meadow yeah so to be followed by the mountain right to be followed by the sea oh. and so uh, for example we have a friend at, that does the sea lion training at the aquarium and he had us we went and did a bunch of uh, interactions with the sea lions so I hope to get involvement by people who really know their stuff so we can who make... knew though Ken that your kids would provide so much inspiration for what you do uh, they do they did <laughs> they, they just did. know but I'll they bet know. you didn't know at I that time know. though did you yeah. well listen thank you very much for sharing it with us thank you Olive say thank, thank you. you say bye Simmy Bye, Olive. <laughs> and if you'd like more information about the product, you can check out our website, citytv.com slash BT Vancouver. 925, you're watching Breakfast Television. That was a good job.
slowly go by and feed yeah. them on your it's 9.28. It is Monday morning. You're watching Breakfast Television. Wasn't Olive just adorable? Mm -hmm. Olive loved television. Good name. <laughs> yes, it is a good it's name. It's a good name. Too, yes.